Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the fifth war of the season, season 26, and we are going up against an alliance called Sada Ara. All right, so we're going to take a look at their defense together, and I will walk you through my thought process as I see the defenders for the first time. All right, let's get on in here. All right, so I take path three in section one. And as you can see, there is no one on that first node, which is pretty common. And then there's a Hulk Buster. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do this fight. Uh, so could Nick Fury or Warlock. Then we've got uh, Red Hulk as the mini. And usually when I see Red Hulk, I think of Nick Fury, but in truth, uh, Black Widow or Warlock could also take that fight. Now we come to the middle and we've got a Domino. She's got Power Snack, she's got Outlast and that backup recovery. Now Warlock can do this fight if I'm careful. So if I had to, uh, I could take this fight, but uh, if I don't have to, I won't. I hate fighting Domino. All right, so on to Section 2, we've got Spider-Ham as the, uh, you know, guess mini here. And he, we're going to deal with EMP modification, enhanced energy, uh, which just makes it hurt even more. And the thing about Spider-Ham is if he puts one of those poppers on you, you really don't want to fire off your specials. So when you're facing him, you want to bring someone who does not really need their specials. And who I would probably bring is Nick Fury. Nick Fury uh, should be able to bleed him out pretty, pretty easily. Uh, I would not fire my specials off. But Black Widow Clairvoyant and Warlock could also do this fight. You have to be careful not to uh, generate a buff so dexing you don't want to do so you just want to basically play as if you aren't able to dex at all of course uh, i'm not perfect with that and that's why i would take nick fury in because uh we have that life model decoy so that shouldn't be a big problem there and look at this we've got an iron man infinity war on this node so if you guys saw one of my last, um, not my last war, but one of my previous wars, uh, we faced an Iron Man Infinity War on this node uh, in section one, and it was an eye-opening experience. It was, it was rough. So against this one, I may bring in Magneto. Normally, I take this node with Black Widow Clairvoyant, and she might still be able to do it. I'm going to uh, check around, ask around, and see if there's anything that I'm not um, catching right now. But Magneto can definitely do that fight. Um, so I may end up swapping out someone. So let's move on. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, Stealth Suit Spidey. Um, not really that much of a problem. I can't remember. I think he might be metal as well. So uh, if I do end up bringing Magneto, uh, he could take that fight as well. And then we've got Nick Fury up here for this mini. Warlock normally takes this fight. I don't know if I will have to take that fight or not. Um, if I do, it will be with Warlock. And then we'll just do our best to get this guy down. All right, mini boss island. Uh, I usually ignore the right side because I don't generally take it. Uh, Human Torch uh, can take out that mojo. Uh, that thing, as well as uh, Domino up there, our backup usually comes in with counters for those three fights and then just goes through. So whoever they bring, they'll usually boost once 
do a clean sweep. On the left, we've got, oof, we've got an uh, immortal abomination. Uh, so ideally, you want to bring someone who is poison immune. But you also have to deal with rage. Guess what? Black Widow Clairvoyant, in her Curse of Plague, is poison immune. She can also nullify on that rage node. So uh, if necessary, I would take her in. Uh, then we've got Nick Fury up there. Uh, I, if my Nick Fury is um, still in good shape, that's who I will take there, Nick Fury. And that Strife, I don't know. Um, it really depends on what shape I'm in and what I'm asked to do. Uh, but that Strife, uh, I really don't like doing that node that uh, without a... a power gain uh let me see i'm looking for the power gain because normally yeah there we go improve power gain all right so what i was gonna say is i don't usually like taking that node without a power control champion um so but i i have if you watch my videos you know that i have and i may end up doing it again all right so uh I hate being the first one in because uh, I will move, but I won't be able to get to Hulkbuster in one go. Uh, so I, I'll wait a little bit. You know, it's the weekend and, you know, folks are relaxed, busy. So uh, we may end up uh, waiting a little bit on this left side. But I can see we got somebody going up the middle already. Go ahead. Get that mole man. All right. Uh, I'll be back, and uh, we'll get to the fighting. All right, guys, I messed up. See this team? Look at this team. Do you see anything weird? Why is Sentinel there? As soon as I hit that button to enter this war, I saw that I had brought in Sentinel instead of Magneto. I had intended to swap out Warlock, bring in Magneto for that Iron Man Infinity War in Section 2. But that happened. And I was so upset. I was looking in horror. I wish there was an undo for that. You know, I mean, we can spectate, so it's not like you go in and get any advantage. So I would love for an undo so I can bring in, uh, you know, you know, undo my, my first entry, that first node. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to push on and do the best we can with the champions that we actually did bring in. And I don't plan to use Sentinel for any of the fights that I saw. So first fight is Hulkbuster. And as I said earlier, pretty straightforward, easy fight with Black Widow Clairvoyant. I would have taken this fight with Magneto, but yeah. All right, so anyway, um, pretty straightforward, as I said. Um, just avoid getting hit into your block with uh, any of his specials and just take him down. Not too difficult. Uh, that's why you find him on uh, that node. But there is a node, and I'm not going to say which one it is, but there is a node where he is very annoying. Now, they had someone else there who... Uh, had the potential to be even more annoying. Uh, but I've seen Hulkbuster on one node, and I got wrecked because I was surprised um, <clears throat> by uh, one of the uh, nodes and how it interacted with his specials. All right, so first mini is Red Hulk. I've done this fight before, so I'm not too worried. Uh, Nick Fury, he still has Life Model Decoy. The Persistent Charges are there. Uh, there are still instances where your persistent charges are not there and you start the fight in uh, with Nick Fury and without the life model decoy. But we didn't experience that here. And as you can see, we took down Red Hulk without any difficulty, uh, barely any health lost, and Nick Fury still has the life model decoy. All right, so that first node in the middle is cleared. And 
I'm not touching this Korg. Black Widow Clairvoyant can do that fight. I can't do that fight. Um, I probably could, but uh, there are folks who excel at Mixmaster because it's the node that would get me. And uh, I've done it with Omega Red, gotten a solo there, but I avoid that fight because we have people that do it much, much better. All right, so we're on to section two. And this is the fight that I was going to bring Magneto in for. And so I'm just like, okay, pretty sure I can do this fight. It's going to be a little vindication because if you saw one of my previous war videos, I was surprised by Iron Man Affinity War. And I was looking, spoiling for a rematch. All right. Um, but Magneto will tear him up on that node, uh, on this node, too. All right, so uh, what I'm doing here, just straightforward fight. Watch his armor ups uh, because you don't want him to get to four and hit him because that's when he will get an auto block and wreck you. And she doesn't have true strike. All right, so you can see here um, I'm in Curse of Blood, uh, but I was planning to stay in uh, Curse of Hellfire, but sometimes it does that it switches but then i got hit and i'm like okay well i guess it's good uh that i'm in curse of blood but the problem is that when he gets low in health he's going to start auto blocking everything including my special so i won't be able to use my special two to heal up so at this point i'm taking those blocked hits and i'm like okay here here we go get a little health but see all the auto blocking but we were able to recover fast enough that he didn't wreck us. But we didn't get the health back that I was hoping for. So at this point, we're like, all right, I'm going to move over here. Because I kept telling people, as they were suggesting I do um, reparrying. This is an easy way to reparry. Stay in the corner, left corner, and watch this. Boom, boom, reparry. Boom, reparry. Now, did you see how I just stood there? without firing a heavy, that's because the game dropped my input. I actually did the reparry, and after that was supposed to be a, um, a heavy attack. And she just stood there. Um, but that's an easy way to reparry. You can reparry anywhere, but I find reparrying against uh, pretty much anyone very easy when you are in that corner. Now, I don't like being in that corner, but if I'm going to reparry, uh, that's the corner I want to be in, okay? Uh, so as you see, we had no problem. He went down. I'm a little bit low in health. Um, and now we're going to be facing this stealth suit Spidey. Now, he is pretty straightforward. He's got a similar mechanic to uh, Symbiote Spidey, where he has that evade, and I always forget it. And as you saw, he punished me for it. Now it's on cooldown, and you can attack, and you don't have to worry about him evading here. So all I had to do was not try to finish a combo, but I always forget. All right, and so here we go. You see here, I'm, I'm, I want to bait out that special. All right, it's still on cooldown, so we're good. And then he just wrecks me. I was like, are you kidding me? I was setting it up. I had my special two baited it out his evade was on cooldown and it just doesn't so not going to complain not worrying about it so on we go lost my black widow clairvoyant was a bit salty about it had already brought in the wrong champion this was not going well this war okay after this i was ready to just sit out the rest of the war Good luck, guys. Go, you know. But, yeah, that happened. Uh, and let me tell you, I, I was not happy. I was not happy to lose my Claire. I was intending to use Claire for some other fights. So, as you see, I was not going anywhere. I let my alliance know what happened. Now, I want you to see the buffs I have here. Those buffs, the reason I wanted to show you those is because at this point in time, I'm actually 
uh, doing, or I did one of the challenges and I boosted up for one of the Karina challenges. And so at this point, I still had those buffs on me. And that's the only reason uh, that I have this uh, buff uh, or those buffs on me. Because, I mean, you saw the tech, right? That's because I was using Ghost. Um, but they don't help at all, you know, against Nick Fury. Now, this fight I was asked to do. And keep in mind, I'd already died once. And I have never soloed this fight. If you guys have been watching my war videos... You know that when this node was introduced, I absolutely hated the node. Still don't like it. Um, I had all kind of advice. You know, you just have to get used to it and everything, which I knew. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to like it. Because I personally don't like having to fight outside of my comfort zone. You know, I've been practicing. I've been learning how to fight a certain way. I learn these champions and I fight them a certain way. And then these nodes come along and some people love it. They love that shakeup. You know, I'm not one of those people. I like, you know, to go in and be like, okay, I know how to deal with this guy. All right, we're good. But then they throw these nodes in and I'm like, okay, I didn't know how to fight this guy, but now I don't. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're going in here and we're basically fighting him stun immune style as if he was the boss. Okay. That's what we're doing here. We do not want to parry. Uh, we do have a parry to give. It will, you know, he will wreck us and we'll get to the real Nick Fury who cannot be stunned. And we can go from there. But in my past attempts at this, I tried using Nick Fury. Never got a one shot with Nick Fury. Um, it would get down there. He would get down to his 30%. And we just couldn't do it. We just could not pull it off, okay? So I'm just like, I'm just gonna do the best I can. You know, there's nothing else for it. All right, so you can see here, I'm getting him, intercepting him, interrupting his heavy attacks, doing everything I can. And I'm looking and I'm like, hey, I might be able to do this. Cause the real Nick Fury is not out yet. I'm like, oh, we might work. I said, but let calm down. Let's keep an eye on those rock charges because I will get wrecked. Uh, if I'm not careful. Okay. So we're still going. Here we go. Uh, another person who is really good for this fight is Falcon. He can rock this fight. And there you have it. The first time I ever one shot this node with thing on it. With Nick Fury. Or anyone. Because I never got the one shot. Now I have. All right. We'll be back in a little bit and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately we lost this war, and it kind of stung because this war should not have been a loss. We should have won this war. Uh, we were winning, and we had just too many needless deaths. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, we died too often, and we died in ways that um, we really didn't need to, you know, communication, planning, not rushing in, boosting, healing up if you need to heal up. Um, but we had people just going in there like it was off season, just trying to get the fight down. If they don't get it down, whatever, uh, somebody else will take, you know, care of it. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it guys. Hopefully we'll do better, uh, in the coming wars. So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.